What it do, what it do, what it do. Still on the AUDJPY trade, shot in the Japanese yen. Uh, just wanted to provide value to the community. Um, and just, and just, the, you know, the topic is, the topic is three important questions you want to ask yourself as a trader. When you're trading, um, you, well, trading is captivating, but what you, what we're looking for is consistency. It's easier to say, okay, I'm looking for consistency, but the real question here is what is going to make me consistent? What kind of questions do I have to ask to make me consistent? What do I have to do to be consistent? So let's break it down. In order to be consistent, this is a point-based system career. So you need to have a pip goal for the day. You need to know each currency, how much pips they're going to give you for the day. Okay? And when it does that, you just grab it and go. But you can leave one running. That's why I have two boxes here. We all live and learn. So I'm just learning. But what I, I wanted to provide value to the community is that uh, you, you can go ahead and uh, take this tip that I'm giving and also do what I'm doing. So you can see the box inside. I have a bigger box, which is the main goal overall. It's probably 300 pips. Um, so you want to leave at least one or two running for those for the bigger picture. And you have an inner box. That the inner for the first inner box is how much pips the um, the currency pair will give you for the day. Because for the um, because the, in the day the currency pair will give you hundred pips. So you could take that and just leave and leave the other running, which is personally I think is a smarter is a smarter decision. I think it's a smarter decision to do that. And the third inner box is the one where you just watch it run and um, you set your alert and, and wait for it to come to you. And and um, and when price retraces, you just follow that, that particular pair for the week. So you want to trade more than one currency pair because a currency pair can can consolidate for 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 a whole month. Um, I've seen a, a currency pair consolidate for a whole year. I don't know what it was. I think it was GBP card. That's a currency pair. I don't want to be caught up in because you know you want to have options. You want to have abundance. Okay, so have your main purse. Target them. You know. So this is just a that's a quick tip I want to share with you. So when it comes to when it comes to trading, it's about setting your trap. So when you set your trap and the price comes to you and it works according to your trap, then you go for the kill. Then you go for the trade. But if it doesn't come to you, then just sit back and, and um, let it go. There's power in letting a trade go. You don't need to trace every trade. Let it go. Let it come back to you. Let it play according to your trap and watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it run, watch it go. So... This was just a quick video. Um, and also, never limit yourself to one time frame. You want to watch... You, it, the reason why you want to watch all these pairs from different time frame correlation is because it helps with your mental psychology. Okay? Because if you're seeing a timeline from one time, you don't really, you don't really see what's happening on the other ends. So, you guys have a lot.